Garmin Development Research Services is happy to have been able to do yet another public opinion poll for the Nation newspaper. Um, this, this journey started back in the early 1990s with Patrick Emanuel and the Nation has not only continued to do polls during elections, but they have now introduced what we call a midterm poll. And this is probably the third or fourth such midterm poll that we've done and it gives us the opportunity to track the development of the uh, government or opposition uh, in between elections uh, and I'm happy that on this occasion we've been able to do what is the first reading of the new Democratic Labour Party administration and, and pick up several things. I think the first thing that is, is most significant that is reflected in the report is the level of satisfaction or one could say dissatisfaction with government as reflected in three key statistics. Barbadians, some 62 percent, have indicated that Barbados is not on the right track. And that is in, re in response to a question that simply says, do you think that Barbados is on the right track? And a majority, 62%, uh, says that Barbados is not on the right track. So that means that we are well over 50% heading towards uh, two-thirds of Barbadians are of that opinion. Uh, the question as to the time for the change of government is always a good indicator of satisfaction. In this regard, we can see that 52% of people uh, who responded to the survey have said that they think that it's time for a change of government. Of course, an election is not scheduled, but nonetheless, the feeling is quite strong. And it's interesting that this statistic compares very, fav very unfavorably with the reality uh, before February 2013, when 39% uh, of Barbadians indicated that it was time for change. So we've seen a substantial increase. Uh, the key question, are fresh elections warranted based on all that has happened between the last election and now? Uh, was responded to and 52% of Barbadians indicated that they felt that enough had happened between the last election and now to warrant fresh elections. So that gives you a sense of where Barbadians are in terms of this whole question of satisfaction with government. Um, we also asked people about their satisfaction with the opposition and in this regard we used a measure, a statistical measure, that scores on the scale from 1 to 10. Of course with 1 being your least level or uh, your least, uh, that you are least happy and 10 mean that you are most happy. The other thing is the statistical uh, measure that we use to track the popularity of the opposition. And in this regard, we used uh, an indicator that was a numerical indicator on a scale from one to 10, one being the lowest and 10 being the highest. So respondents were given the opportunity to say whether they were extremely happy, as in the case of a 10, or extremely unhappy, as in the case of a one, with the government and also the opposition. And in this regard, um, we found that three 4.8% of, of Barbadians, 3.8% I'm sorry, of Barbadians were satisfied with their government. 4.8% uh, of Barbadians were satisfied with the opposition. Now this question always presents some challenges in the sense that the expectations for government opposition are often very different. Uh, government has a clear role to perform. No one is quite sure what it is the opposition is supposed to be doing that they're not doing. But I, I ten, tend to get a sense that many people have expectations that the opposition can do something about the situation that they're not doing. And this is perhaps reflected in the fact that the opposition gets a 4.8 out of 10, uh, while the government gets a 3.8 out of 10. We also measure trust. Do you trust the government? Do you trust the opposition? And this was a new measure that we introduced for the first time. And on this occasion, uh, the government's trust level is in the vicinity of, well, it is exactly 3.4%, while the opposition's trust level is 4.5%. Um, clearly the opposition has greater trust, but in neither instance is the trust level uh, at 5% or more, which is, is the case. Uh, if you will look at the details of the actual report, which are reflected in the um, report today in the press, uh, you will notice that we've disaggregated the data and generally you can see that people who support the Barbados Labour Party are happier with the opposition and least happy with the government. People who support the Democratic Labour Party are happier with the government and less happy with the opposition. But the critical point is that the uncertain voters, persons who did not answer the political question, gave responses that were similar to the responses that we saw at the national level. So that was fairly interesting. Issue, leadership is always a big issue in every public opinion poll, and this one was certainly no different. Um, the leadership was measured in many ways. We used an approval rating. We used a statistical measure from 1 to 10, as was the case with satisfaction. And we also asked people to choose a person that they uh, identified. And in all three instances, we had some fairly interesting developments. As far as leadership approval is concerned, uh, we measured both government and opposition. Persons were given the opportunity to say whether they approve yes or no 
uh, of both leaders, and of course, persons would respond to a, pers to a leader regardless of whether or not they supported that individual. What we found on this occasion is that uh, as far as the current leaders are concerned, uh, Prime Minister Stewart uh, is approved of by 13% of people who responded to the poll, while uh, opposition leader Mia Motley is approved by 39% of people who responded to the poll. The significant thing about Prime Minister Stewart's approval rating is that it was 39% uh, in 2013, and it has fallen precipitously to 13% uh, in two years, effectively. Opposition leader Mia Motley was not measured. However, her um, counterpart, Owen Arthur, was measured in 2013. His measure was 37% approval rating, while uh, it is now at the level of, she is now at the level of 39%. So one could argue that she has added two percentage points to the approval rating for the leader of the opposition uh, when those two questions are compared. Uh, in a statistical, in a poll like this, um, anything below plus or minus 5% is usually seen as being statistically insignificant, so for that reason it's not something that we would mention. The corresponding disapproval rating, because persons were able to say whether they approve or disapprove, also presents some interesting statistics, and we can see that the disapproval rating for Prime Minister Stewart is 72%. Um, the approval rating, disapproval rating for opposition Liam Motley is 31%. And comparatively, again, the disapproval rating for Prime Minister Stewart was 40% uh, in the polls we did in the run-up to the last election, and is now 72%. So we can see that Prime Minister Stewart is facing a situation where less people approve of him, and significantly more people disapprove of him, while opposition Liam Mina Motley seems to have been able to at least hold on to the level of approval and disapproval that the former Prime Minister Owen Arthur had. Uh, and you bear in mind, of course, I said that these are... Uh, comparisons that are difficult to make because the role of the opposition leader is perhaps less clear. The rating, statistical or numerical rating, uh, on a scale from 1 to 10 for the Prime Minister and opposition leader uh, present a similarly interesting um, situation. Prime Minister Stewart is now given a 3.5 out of 10, and that's the average overall in Barbados, while opposition Mia Motley is given a 5.2 out of 10. Uh, based on the majority of responses. Uh, Prime Minister Stewart's approval uh, from the perspective of a statistical measure where we measured it before the last election was at 5.5. He has dropped from 5.5 to 3.5, which is two points, while opposition uh, leader at the time, Owen Arthur, was a 5.2. So again, here we are seeing a level of stability in relation to the rating of the opposition, however, a precipitous fall in relation to the Prime Minister. The question of preferred leader, this is a question that we always include, uh, it generates considerable interest. It's a question which we at Cadres have acknowledged is somewhat unfair to the extent that it gives you the opportunity only to say one person. Uh, and we often feel that there is a richness in the data that we've seen in relation to an analysis of both individuals that was covered in other questions. Having said that, however, we appreciate that politics and certainly uh, a battle for political office is a situation in which only one person can win. So ultimately, people have to say, who do they want to lead? And this is the response to the question where we ask people who they want to lead. So in March, this March poll, 48% um, of people indicated that they wanted to be led by uh, leader of the opposition, Mia Motley. She would be the person that most Barbadians are comfortable with them leading at this stage. While the current Prime Minister, Fernando Stewart, uh, was chosen by 12% of Barbadians. The most popular person, as far as leadership is concerned now, is uh, leader of the opposition, Ms. Mia Motley. Uh, the second most popular person is Prime Minister Fernando Stewart. The third most popular person would be uh, Mr. Owen Arthur, uh, who is now former Prime Minister and an independent. And, and from there, the numbers get considerably smaller. We have Mr. Don Valenis uh, coming in as the second Democratic Labour Party person being preferred, followed by Dr. David Eswick, who is Minister of Agriculture. He would be the third DLP person. The interesting thing about the data in relation to the leadership is the extent to which there is a clear consolidation on the part of the Barbados Labour Party supporters and a clear disaggregation on the part of the Democratic Labour Party supporters. And when I say that, what I mean is that we often find that outside of elections, uh, people in terms of the data that we have seen in midterm polls 
consider options. So the leader may become less popular temporarily, but certainly people consider options. And then there's a consolidation when an election comes around where they focus on one individual, invariably the person who's leading the party. And that's what happened in 2013.